In this video, we are going to talk about how the vector mode of the Casio 991EX calculator can be used to easily perform cross and dot product operations which are very common operations in the UPSC CSC math optional examination. You will find um, the use of dot product and cross product in many chapters like analytical geometry, vector analysis and even fluid mechanics and the dynamics chapters for some uh, purposes. Um, so I can, as an example, I can say that these can be easily used to calculate skew distances, finding normals, and in vector calculus to calculate gradients and all. So um, I think this is a very useful feature which a lot of us take for granted. So let's look at it. So uh, the calculator, uh, if you go to the menu and click on uh, five, right? So uh, you get into the vector mode. So in this you can define any vector. So suppose I define vector A. So I'll press 1 and I define uh, and the dimension of the vector is 3. Uh, I define it say 2, 0, 3. Then I go to options, define vector. Now I define vector B say 1, 0, minus 1. Now if I want to perform the calculation a bar dot b bar then I will use option 3 vector calc again option vector a again option go down dot product so 2 dot again option vector b 4 and press equal to so that will give me minus 1 so vector a dot vector b is minus 1 and if you want to find the cross product vector a cross vector b then we'll just use option vector a and the multiplication symbol cross vector b so that will give us 0 5 0 so while this is not very difficult to calculate cross products there is a heavy room for calculation mistakes there as well. So using this I think just makes our lives easier and also reduces the amount of time that we take. Now let us take an example of uh, how we can actually use this in the exam. So the question supposes finding shortest distance between straight lines given as uh, below and uh, the shortest distance formula we know as this. So here let's see. So A1 is equal to I'm not going to explain how to calculate shortest distances. I assume that you've already studied that. So A1 is equal to 3, 8, 3. A2 is equal to minus 3, minus 7, 6. Uh, this part and these parts. And B1 is what we see the direction cosines of the, of the straight lines. So 3, 1, minus 1. And B2 is... 3, 2, 4. Now in the exam, we cannot just write B1. So, so we have to calculate B1 cross B2, right? So in the exam, we can just not we cannot just write B1 cross B2 is equal to and use the calculator to write. So what I used to do in the exam was so B1 cross B2 is equal to I J K. Sorry, uh, my writing is not that great here because I am getting used to using the writing tablet right now. So please bear with me. 3, 1, minus 1, 3, 2, 4. Now instead of actually calculating it, maybe you can write I, 4, plus 2, or, or you don't even need to write this. So I used to just write it like this and finally use the calculator to calculate the dot cross product. The reason why I used to do that is because there is a very high room for silly mistakes especially when you have to look at signs and all here. So um, again I will go to define vector, vector A, dimension is 3 and the numbers are 3, minus 1, 1. Option again, define vector, vector B, minus 3. 2, 4. This is supposed to be minus. Now I will calculate dot product. Vector calc. 
वेक्टर ए क्रॉस वेक्टर बी विच इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स माइनस फिफ्टीन थ्री सो दिस इज आर बी वन क्रॉस बी टू ए वन माइनस ए टू आई थिंक वी कैन सिंपली कैलकुलेटेड वी डोंट नीड अ कैलकुलेटर फॉर दैट सो थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स आई कैप This I'll just write this minus six i cap minus fifteen j cap plus three k cap and a one minus a two is six i cap plus fifteen j cap minus three k cap and so so the S D formula is short skew distance formula is. mod of a1 minus a2 dot b1 cross b2 by mod of b1 cross b2 now you can either use a simple dot product within this uh, vector analysis to calculate this dot product or you can simply use Uh, uh the usual uh mode so i'm just going to do that i'm just going to simply use the usual mode so uh dot product of a1 minus a2 and b1 cross b2 would be minus 6 into 6 so minus 36 so minus 36 so minus 15 into plus 15 minus 225 and Minus three into plus three, so minus nine, which is equal to minus two seventy by. Now b one cross b two ka mod we need to take, so under root of six square plus fifteen square plus three square, which is three root thirty. So this is going to be mod of two seventy by. Three root thirty. Let's calculate that. Two seventy divided by three root thirty, which is equal to three root thirty, which is our required answer, as also asked to prove here. So see, uh, in a lot of these places, I think using the uh, calculator to calculate the uh, cross product helps. Dot product can help sometimes. but in general use the calculator for most calculation so that your cal mistakes silly mistakes are greatly reduced we know that math is kind of a binary subject and uh, people say that if you get the answer wrong then you probably don't get any marks so it becomes very important there are few pointers to take care when we are solving uh, these during the calculator so if you go to the vector mode you will also see that you can calculate angle between two vectors right but i would not Uh, as i'll show you so if you go to vector calc you will see that there is an option to calculate the angle as well so but i would not recommend you to do that because the angle that will come would be the cos of some value and that will be some decimal something thing but in the exam we generally write it as cos inverse of something like cos inverse 1 by 3 or something which uh, the angle comes so this is not uh, recommended to calculate use the calculator to calculate the angle directly and the magnitude as well it should be calculated manually don't use the unit vector function to calculate that because that will give you answer in decimals and it is always recommended that the answer in your exam should be in terms of uh, you know roots or something like for example 3 root 30 instead of the decimal value of 3 root 30 so yeah i think that's it for this video thank you